Military attacks on Rohingya intensify in Bhuti Down. Muir Middle School removes mural of Nobel Prize winner from Hall of Heroes. Estimated 500,000 Rohingya children being denied and education says amnesty. Powerful footage of massive burning emerged of the immediate aftermath of shelling by the Myanmar army in southern Budidang against Arakan army and Rohingya civilians. Two Rohingya homes were burnt to ashes and five cows belonging to them were seriously injured in Sinthe Pien hamlet, Sango Town village tracked of Budidang south yesterday at around 8.45 a.m. Another launcher fell into the village without hitting any homes or persons, luckily. The villagers were forced to flee from their homes. The homes belong to Moktul Hussein and his brother Abdul Rahman and the cattle wounded also belong to the two victim families. The launchers were fired from the military station besides Thon Se Thabun Pagoda and according to villagers, though they were fired against Arakan army, they never missed to target Muslim villages. Yesterday, new footage has emerged of military shelling causing massive fire and burning many other homes to the ground in Sain Thang village of Bhuti Dang North. Currently, the fighting between Myanmar Myanmar Army and Arakan Army intensifies in southern Bhuti Down, especially around Rohingya villages, where Rohingyas are commonly targeted by both. A villager told Our Vision after the ICJ case against Burma, the military intensified its attack on Rohingya as well. But the launches fired from the military base never hit homes of Rakhine or Hindus, amazingly. He continued that the Muslim villages of northern Bhuti Down were totally cleansed during 2017 military operations. The few villages left to the south of urban Bhuti Dang are being targeted one by one now, adding these are planned attacks from the military. According to the man, a monk from the temple warned the Muslims that the situation is going to be worse. No fatalities are reported yet, but hundreds of Rohingyas are displaced. Muslims are worried of their future in the region as military firing continues. Aung San Suu Kyi took the podium at the International Court of Justice in The Hague to counter genocide charges levied against her country's military. Burbank Unified officials quietly took down her image at a local school. Four years ago, the former Nobel Peace Prize winner and current Myanmar State Councillor, a position closely resembling a Prime Minister, was one of 15 historical figures to be depicted in murals painted at Muir Middle School's Hall of Heroes. The murals are supposed to serve as examples of what our students can aspire to be. Muir principal Greg Miller said earlier this week, local artist Randall Williams, including Aung San Suu Kyi, among icons such as suffragette Susan B. Anthony, civil rights giant Martin Luther King Jr., and naturalist and author John Muir, the school's namesake. Since then, Muir Middle, a school that prides itself on artwork, has added five more murals, including baseball pioneer Jackie Robinson, scientist Albert Einstein, and former First Lady Ellen Eleanor Roosevelt. The Aung San Suu Kyi mural is the first to be taken down and Miller said it was at no cost to the district. The international community must share responsibility for the education of Rohingya children in the camps in Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh, Amnesty International has said ahead of the first global refugee forum. More than half a million children have yet to see the inside of a classroom since they arrived in the refugee camps more than two years ago, the global rights body said in a press statement. The global refugee forum, which is being hosted by the UN's refugee agency in Geneva and takes place from 16th to the 18th December, has has made the education of one of its six key themes. The Rohingya children in the camps in Cox's Bazar must not become a lost generation. The international community must accept that they will not be able to return home to Myanmar anytime soon. And they cannot continue to see their futures slowly stolen from them in conditions where they are being denied their rights to education, said Sa'at Hamadi, South Asia campaigner at Amnesty International. When a child receives an education, Everyone benefits. Both Bangladesh and the international community must step up and share the responsibility of educating all children of Rohingya refugees and the host community as well. For more videos, please subscribe our Vision English YouTube channel.